Hello, sweet souls. Happy um, Friday. It is May 3rd, and I thought I would do a reading for uh, May projections just to see what's going on for the month of May. I am doing it uh, this way because one of our uh, Soul Tribe members wanted uh, me to show the card, so I can't do it every time, but I'm going to do it today. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit. Angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Um, I already pulled from my deck for the projection for May. Somebody is going to go through a spiritual awakening, a uh, dark night of the soul. This is someone from your past, I'm feeling, because you've let go of this person, uh, letting go of the past anger, bitterness, and resentment. So this is someone you've let go of that is now going to go through a spiritual awakening in the month of May. This is someone that has a lot of addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, money, whatever it is. This is also someone that tried to uh, ostracize you. They tried to make you like an outcast. This is someone that could have slandered, defamed you, um, told people you were crazy, not stable, what have you. But for you, for the month of May, it's completely different. We got... You are worthy. Continue to make those I am statements. You have success, abundance, and stability. You could be receiving messages through music. This past person could be trying to communicate with you through music. But you are a light worker, a healer, an empath. Okay, And for some of you in the month of May, you could be taking a trip, taking a break. And for others, I do see um, you have a new job or career opportunity coming in. What tried to pop out at the top was the earth angel. You're on a special mission, so that's beautiful. All right, so let's just see what comes out from this deck here for the for the month of May. And if you guys are interested in purchasing my deck, you can. It's $28.88. Um, you just pay for shipping, and you'll have to email my husband at tashas.merch at gmail.com to get the shipping cost. All right, let's see, for the month of May, for the collective, um, and I felt magical, like the month of May is going to be magical for you guys, it really is. A lot of changes, positive changes are coming in for you. Um, one more card, yeah, a blessing. What I'm seeing here is somebody's deep in thought in the month of May, because you are co-creating with the divine. You have a whole team protecting you card number 40 reduces to a four now we have four 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 you guys could be seeing four 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 this person's deep in thought um you know this the card number 44 with the thinker reduces to an eight so this talks about what you put out you get back this person is now feeling the effects of the energy that they've put out um but you're protected okay they can't stop watching whatever it is you're doing um wow this, again, is card number 13, reduces to a four. A lot of fours. Um, but they're watching. But they're watching, though, that you've closed the cycle out and you're in this high vibration and you are receiving blessings. You're receiving what you deserve. Like from the last reading, this is definitely you receiving what you deserve. This is justice. You know, the karmic scales are being balanced now. Whatever has been done against you is being made right in the month of May. Okay? So let's... Let's do some of the light seers to see what we get. If you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm only doing 10 readings per week, and I am scheduling for next week. So schedule sooner than later because they fill up quick. Also, um, if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodibity. You can find both links, bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. All right, for the month of May. For the month of May. Wow, taking a brand new leap of faith. This can be... Um, a new soulmate coming in, a high-level soulmate. This can also be you coming into union with your higher self, with the divine, or um, business contracts that are aligned. This can be love or business, but it's a brand new beginning, a brand new leap of faith. I told you, I felt like the month of May, M is for magical. It's going to be a magical month. Things are going to shift in your favor. Uh, big developments. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, the end of conflict. The end of you. Uh, being conflicted if this is within your mind if it's external to you it's over it's done uh, for, yeah look <laughs> cycles complete uh, the divine is stepping in and saying no more you're not allowed to create chaos and conflict for this person any longer it's over goodbye for the month of may yeah 
You know, you're finally in the month of May dropping the burdens. You're dropping the burdens, allowing yourself to receive your blessings in the Six of Pentacles, getting what you deserve, and justice playing out. Again, with the Justice card for the month of May, the Divine is making things fair. For the month of May, the magical month of May. Yeah, look at this. You have a King of Cups here. This can be someone coming in. This can be a soulmate. This can be love. This can be a friendship. This can be a business opportunity. Whoever this King of Cups is that's coming in, this is someone that's going to empower you. Someone that's going to build you up, not beat you down, not try to destroy your confidence, but someone that's going to empower you to be the best version of you. That's a true partnership, whether it's any partnership at all. It's stable. It's a gift and blessing from God. God's bringing someone into your life to help you, to co-create with you, to treat you the way you deserve, to give equally to you. Like I said, whether it's love, a friendship, um, a business partnership, whatever it is. The month of May. The month of May. Projections. Whoop. Yeah, look at this. And the one that is spying has been defeated. They have toxic ways, toxic patterns. They have could have dark attachments. And it's over. In the month of May, whoever has been spying on you in this devil energy, the devil has been defeated. The devil is in reverse. Month of May. Yeah. Yeah. So this person, Five of Swords, um, is going to be all up in their head. You know, they played a game, a mind game to win. And they didn't count on you carrying the sword of truth, God's truth. You being in the Queen of Swords energy, knowing the truth and using that that sword to cut away whatever this is. They didn't anticipate that this would happen and they're very stressed out. Also in this card, you can see the black birds flying above. That's your protection. The spiritual realm protecting you. Again, with the black bird above her and the Queen, and the queen of Swords energy. This person, um, they were deceived by dark forces. They were. And... It's interesting is because they used five swords to try to win at a game that you weren't even playing. They used my manipulation, but they used five swords, but you only needed one because the sword that you carried was from God. <laughs> Do you see the difference? They needed five. There could have been multiple people involved. Multiple swords represent multiple people, and we do see another person back here. However, the one sword you held took care of the job because this is God's sword, okay? Also, multiple wishes coming in for the month of May. That's beautiful. So much happiness. Wishes coming true. Wishes being granted. And I want to hear about it, guys. Come back to this video or tell me on any video uh, what wishes are being granted in the month of May. Month of May, please. Beautiful, magical month of May. That's what I feel. Happy energy. Just happy, happy energy. Excitement and happiness. Excitement and happiness. Woo! Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at this. Hold on a second, guys. What's coming in quick? You are this high priestess. Your intuitive abilities, your psychic abilities could be increased at this time. But I also see what's coming in quick is the wheel of fate and destiny. Things finally aligning for you. You've waited so long, been through so much of these mind games, these interferences, and now uh, you're being blessed. Definitely being blessed. The month of May. The month of May. Do we need to use a different deck? Nope. Okay. Okay. Victory, success, public recognition. Like I said, you're being seen. No matter what it is you're 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 doing, people are recognizing who you are. And yes, you're going to have haters in the audience. And so what? That's going to be till the end of time. You're always going to have people that are influenced by dark energies that are possessed with the, uh, not a true possession, although they could be, but just filled with the um, dark energy of, of jealousy and envy. You have this victory, this success, this win. It's beautiful. Congratulations. Month of May. The month of May. What's this tower for the month of May? 
Oh gosh, I'm not going to say what I just heard. The month of May. The month of May. What's this tower? Yep. So if you had somebody that was very passion driven, they could have had somewhere in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sag, they're going to go through a tower in the month of May. There is significant endings and this is a direct result of the five of swords energy to the devil energy. This is what happens when you get tempted and you try to go after people and play mind games that don't deserve it. People that hold this, this sort of truth. So this person is going to go through the tower. They're going to, they're going to experience massive endings in their life uh, because it's karmic justice. They refuse to let go of your energy too. And that's part of it too. Um, yeah, for the month of May, multiple doors are opening up. You could have many people coming in wanting to collaborate with you, wanting to work with you. Um, it's good energy though. I feel that this is positive very positive energy wow and then whoever it ha it's been in the past that's been very deceptive and doing it for a very long time they're going to be stopped or blocked they could lose their car their transportation um, they do not have an ability to manifest any longer um, that gift that ability has been stripped from them and they're going nowhere fast this is this person is being put in a time out a, in a big big way because of their actions in this energy. They could have worked with a gold digger energy, queen of pentacles and reverse. This is someone that is, um, they only care about money. They only care about status, how they appear. Um, so yeah, you are this hermit energy. You stay private. You're very attached, very connected with the spiritual realm. And the month of May you could be traveling. You could be making plans to relocate. Either way, you are embracing the energy of peace. And you are planting good seeds. You're manifesting. And what's coming in is happiness and success. I love it. 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 All right. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to know about the month of May? Feeling really good about the month of May. Let's do the Cancerian Oracle and ask what's coming in for the month of May. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. What's coming in for the collective for the magical month of May? I don't know why I keep wanting to say that, but I just how I feel. It's an amazing um, energy. Energy release, uh, energy renewal, rejuvenation. The month of May. What's coming in for the collective? Nurturing your mind, body, and spirit. And a tower moment. A shift. Trusting in God. Taking care of yourself. Releasing. Letting things fall away that don't serve you. Whether this is a person, place, or a thing. And an unexpected blessing coming in. From God. Now this tower could have been something you've already went through in the past. And now you're bl being blessed. For some of you in the month of May, you're going to be remedying meeting you're going to be meeting your uh high level soulmate they said they don't want you to worry now is the time to rest in the month of may and allow things to come to you just be open yeah look the past is going through an awakening what i say it came out it already came out in my deck the past is going to be going through an awakening wow in the month of may validation yeah this is somebody you let go of you're moving on, you're gifted, you're being guided uh, towards your destined path, and you have surrendered everything from the past. Yeah, you're taking risk, you're going for any opportunities the divine brings your way because you know it's a part of your destiny. It's beautiful. Your creativity could really be increased for the month of May. You could be getting a lot of inspiration. We do have a timeline of, a mo of months from now, and they want you to spend time alone taking care of your mind, body, and spirit, getting more connected, and they want you to set boundaries with past people, okay? Yeah, just take inspired action toward what it is you want to create in your life. Yeah, again, travel in the month of May and your destiny, being aligned with your destiny. Your patience is what I'm hearing. Your patience is paying off, okay? Because you have been patient, it's paying off. All right, let's get a couple... Oh, no. What are they saying? Let me do this one. I'm going to do this one real quick. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle. 
And we'll just get a couple from this deck. Let's see what we get. Whoops. For the month of May. Holy Spirit. Holy Angel. Saints, Spirit, Gods, and Ancestors. For the month of May. What's it collective need to know? For the month of May. Wow. That was a lot there. Let's see. The Eyes of Beauty. It says positive expectations and clarity. You know, to me, like the Queen of Swords, you're getting so much clarity in the month of May. You are expecting positive re results in every situation, and you're getting clarity. Yeah, because you have angelic help, miraculous aid, the winged wise ones. This is who's bringing you this clarity, the spiritual realm. Divine aid. I love that. Okay. And then we got the horse king. Assistance and control. Oh, oh. Let me see, guys. Inner conflict. Morality. Conscious choice. The dragon duel. Yeah, so we have a controlling masculine energy that is going through some sort of inner conflict in May because of their morality. They don't have any morality. Um, they've made choices in the past that were not good, and there is a significant change going on in their life based on past choices it's card number six card number five so this is karmic justice the rainbow prince compensation and perseverance that's you you're being rewarded for your patience for your perseverance again with the fiery energy of aggression fire prince this is someone that is in a very aggressive energy. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. Yeah, this person is starting to get their awakening. So they're getting the knowledge about their patterns, what they have done, their manipulation, and it's due to insecurity. This is someone in a fiery energy. I feel that it is having some sort of awakening. This says fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. You are Gaia's garden. You're receiving what you deserve. That's what's happening. It's time for you to reap your reward. Flowing, letting go. Flow, letting go, and natural move it. Because you trusted, you surrendered, and you're just going with the flow now. You are the phoenix rising. Yes, you are. It says, resurrection, you surrendered to change. You put everything in God's hands. And then we got um, the map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. Yeah, because of your past choice, you're being guided onto a new path, your destined path. The spirit whisper, it says, divine guidance, higher knowing. Card number three. This is the Ascended Masters coming in to guide you on your destined path, which could be as a healer to help guide other people. You're, you're meant to give divine guidance because you have higher knowing. You're a healer. Transformation, intuition, and patience. Yeah, you know, if you've been working on your spiritual gifts, they're saying that that's about to change. In the month of May, you are going to notice you're going to have more gifts. Things are going to transform. Your patience will pi finally pay off. So, all right, guys. 1844 on my timer. If you want to look that up. Um, this is your second reading. I love you guys. I hope that you have an amazing day. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye-bye.